that's not. That's reasonable. But literally, as soon as that bait hit the water, and we're on again. There we go. A handful of bando. So that's the flatty. And just like that. So we're back in the car, uh, ready to hit Waraltree Beach. Again, see if we can pick up some more King George. We've got some fresh squid. Should get us through for the rest of the day. Um, and have a tube to clean up to put in the freezer. So uh, let's see uh, what we can do at Waraltree. So a short change of, uh, quick change of plans. Um, we're all tree beaches down that way, down past that point there. Um, but I'm gonna have a crack at second beach. It is a bit windy, apologize for that. Uh, we're just gonna try, uh, I don't know how well you can see it out uh, around these wee beds through here. Uh, we'll walk around, walk around the back. So this will be interesting because it's already a fair bit deeper like yeah, close in than we're roll tree and we're not even really at high tide yet this is probably as far as i can go i can only try this for a few casts if there's any other areas but this beach might be good for surf casting some bigger baits um i would definitely say especially at night um but in regards to what i have been doing the last few days not convinced let me know in the comments if you're fish second beach and what you targeted and what you caught but obviously it gets fairly deep the high tide marks up here it's just coming in for those that aren't sure um good to know because a lot of the back roads off the main road onto these beaches are closed due to private property but you can drive all the way through past renowned rocks uh, at low tide obviously um down to basically heading towards Waralti. Um, so I've just been having a look on um, Google Maps and just at this point we can see we've got a little bit of weed uh, There's another patch out the back again. It's going to depend on You know how deep and how quickly how deep it gets um, how far we can get out um, But we'll, we'll look to give this a crack and um, see what we can rustle up So yeah, we'll give this a crack again wind left to right Blowing pretty fast I'm literally standing on the last part of the sandbar. You can actually see it drops down. I think it might be. 
Vandag. I thought it was a flatty. Close. I guess the band, I guess the flatties don't generally uh, the, the flatties don't generally swim around, but yeah, you can see why I thought he might have been a flatty. Well, we got something. I hope you can, you can see that. There we go. A handful of bando. We'll uh, let him go off. Bit of fun. All right, we're back at the spot where we were, yeah, the first day fishing here. Yeah? This little reef. Two bodies out behind it. Again, let's see how far out we can get. It's quite low tide, so we should be able to get out there. So we got the wind in our back. We're all ready to go. We're going to cast to the left. Let it, with the wind, come back as it has. Just float over that lead as it starts to sink in. And uh, you know, let's catch some fish. We've got a fish here, but I'm thinking it's a toady. It's a flatty. Not our target species. And that's the classic flatty of just moving the bait. Oops. Um, yeah. Just calm down. So that's the flatty. We're gonna let him go. He's probably the size, but uh, not our target species today. He's just thinking about it, going, "Shit, where do I go now?" And off he goes. Pelican flying low. Probably a good sign. Getting a little bit of interest here, getting a typical whining tap, 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 but didn't take the bait. Probably just a small one at this stage. Still, I think at the bottom of the low top, well, starting to come up, I think it's still got an hour or so to go. All right, we're on here. Tony, heaven. So I just tried with just some straight cockle. There was a few mullet around, a reasonable size, and he's radio legends. Um, we've done the trip around again, not any luck at all. Um, so, just going to call it quits, pull up stumps on this spot. Uh, we'll head further down to our spot down the beach and see if we can't catch some more King George whiting as we did yesterday. So we've come out this far. There's a nice sandbank here. And we want to get out into that bluer, greenier water and cast out onto that weed line. So we've reached the weed line. We're about belly button height water. We'll uh, have a few casts and see what we turn up. It feels less windy out here. I'm certainly not having to really adjust for the wind casting. We might be on for our first bit of action here. Had a few tap tap taps. There we go, tap 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 tap. Being patient. Move the bait up a little bit. Still thinking about it. Camera on. Again, 
didn't have the tree yesterday. Oh, it's only a little link. See what's the start. Little King George. Come here, I'm going to get you off and you're going to go. Beautiful little fish. He's probably only about 20 odd centimetres. Oh, safely released. Hopefully his uh, ma and pa are around. And we're on again. I think, again, this is just a little one. Not taking any draggers yet. A little bit. Might be okay, actually. She's right around my feet. Good little fight. He's hooked on the bottom tail as well, so he definitely wasn't going anywhere. Got a half hitch with the bottom hook around the bottom tail. Yep, he's fine. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that is our first KG of the day. It literally, as soon as that bait hit the water, the slack started going. Uh, that was amazing. Oh, I think it's a toady. Ah, that's annoying. Just had that initial tap, tap, tap. Back again. You got it that time. Just give it another drag just for good order. Walking him back as well. This is definitely a whiting. Oh, it's a small one. Little baby King George. But they're fun to catch either way. I mean, he's not too far away. Oh, can you just stop? I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go. He's uh, well hooked in the jaw just for good order's sake. Yeah, he's, he, he'd be probably legal in, uh, he'd probably be legal in uh, Victoria, 28 odd centimetres. Not here in SA, certainly not on this side of the uh, dividing area. And we got him, this is a good one, guys. Just gonna let the drag off a little bit. Oh, he is good fish. You just got to be patient with these guys. Let them take the ease off. Let them take the, the bait. I, I guess most of the fish I've yeah, my swivel's just on the waterline there. He's just coming in. All right, let's give him a measure. As I said, top of the Shimano to the top of here is the legal length, and he is easily there. That's two of ten. Just give me a bit of time to settle down there. Just getting a couple of little inquiries here. Thinking about it. And we're on. This one's probably not as big as the last one, but it's it's okay. Uh, oh no, it is a whiting. Had it in my head that it was a, uh, I thought I saw a toady. This won't be legal. We'll just get him off and send him back to the family. Nice. Plenty of stock out there for you guys to come and catch. At a later date, safely released. Just getting a little bit of an inquiry again. Probably just a little one suckling on it. Oh, that's not. That's reasonable. 
Well, maybe not. Just a bit aggressive, by the way he took that. As I said, they're just little bites, but... Damn feisty. Come here, buddy. Ah, oh, it's tangled me up. Feisty little bugger. Um, nowhere near legal. Let him go in the water. See you later, buddy. Not getting too many bites now, but we uh, obviously pulled through a school and got a double header. One. Well, here we are, end of uh, day, well, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, day four, um, heading home to Murray. Um, apologies, didn't get all the uh, action there. The battery on the GoPro went flat. Um, we didn't really catch a lot after that last uh, that last lot. Um, they seem to once it hits that high tide in the afternoon, they just seem to stop biting. Um, so, you know, that that's uh, that's where we're at. Uh, ended up with five uh, legal, um, thirty-two, about thirty-five centimeter. Um, King George Whiting, which was fantastic, um, and then uh, we had one rogue Tommy 